leave you here. Frightened, are you? How do you think they feel? There's McEwen. He's the one you'll have to watch. A prodigy. Well... Oh, I forgot. You may need this. I'll meet you tonight at Loganford Station. Silence, please. Gentlemen, you will have two hours for your first paper. You may begin. You missed only one question in geometry and none at all in algebra. I'm too excited to talk. Good night, Claude. Get to bed. Good night, Grandpa. Harvey at Padua demonstrated the circulation of the blood. Good. Good, good, good. No, we mustn't let ourselves go. You've still got physics on Monday. But I swear to you, Shannon, on the basis of what you've done, if you get only 50% on your physics paper, you'll win the marshal. Physics is his best subject. Mr. Gow, you wouldn't have a drink in the house. Not until Monday. <coughs> what about that cough? It's just a cold. I'm tired. <coughs> Stay in bed all day Sunday. If it's raining Monday, I'll bring a cab. <coughs> He's a wee bit on the warm side. I'll get the doctor. Do you stop at the chemist for me? Keep him in bed. The finals are on Monday. Do you think by... Don't be an idiot. His temperature is 104. He's on the verge of pneumonia. Cubic equations. Formula. Formula. Cubic equations. Chemistry. It's Monday, isn't it? No, Daddy. You're not to worry your head about anything. I've got to be there, Grandpa. Shh, Daddy, Daddy. I'll be getting you a nice cup of hot tea.
doctors believe in keeping you in bed, Larry. Now, Dr. Galbraith believes in fresh air. Personally, I pin my faith in a little alcoholic stimulant. Mrs. McTavish. Sit down for a while, laddie. You mustn't overdo it on your first day out. Mrs. Bosomley. Ah, you're looking better every day, Robbie. He'll have a fine relapse tomorrow. The leckies are coming home. Have you heard the results of the scholarship yet? That Jason Reed is a determined man. He went up to Widden yesterday. He's seeing the college folk. Oh. Allison. Take it easy, laddie. Mr. Reed. McEwen. If it's a consolation, you were second. Oh, Roby. Alison, will you drive Robbie home? I'll escort Mrs. Bosomley. Maybe it was too much to ask. I went down on my knees to them, begged them to give you an average on your physics. With only 50%, he'd have won. But they're guided by rules, not justice. Bowl of porridge. Something else will turn up. You're young. I cannot worry about you permanently. It's the measure of my faith in you, laddie. Here's a letter for you. I picked it up just now at your house when I went there and found Mr. Reed waiting. It's from Gavin. Will you read it? It's from Loch Inver. Dear Green Breaches, I've just had the news. You could have picked a more fortunate time, in my opinion, to come down with the flu. I want to see you. I'll come home in the nine o'clock Thursday. I'll meet him at the station. Oh, there's no need. You're not going out in the night air? Oh, no, I was meaning Gavin never goes into the station. He hops off at the yards as closer to his house. If a man can't have friends at a time like this, then what are friends for? Yours, Gavin. I'm a fine one to be feeling sorry for myself. <laughs> <laughs> 